Hi everyone, I'm Dana Kathleen Modena. I am a data scientist from the Philippines. So what I currently do in my day job is I'm a solutions engineer. Uh, just recently, um, I think uh, when I got into the fellowship, I just recently joined that company. So not too much sure, but at the time of the recording, uh, I have grown into that role also. Uh, on my part time, so I volunteer for a nonprofit called Cata Career. Cata Career is an education technology platform non nonprofit that is community based that aims to uh, build and foster the community so we could connect coaches and then students so that we can hopefully kickstart their career journeys altogether. So um, there in my volunteer work, I am a community lead. So we build also programs for the students for them to win. Okay, I applied to the fellowship because I was seeking an opportunity for me to do data science for social good for the long run. I was delighted to see the movement getting stronger and stronger through the years. I think it was also well at the same time that it shifted for me. So for me, I was a data scientist for e-commerce um, back in 2020, but then I uh, shifted towards more social impact for the long term. And I've been looking for avenues of community touch points. Um, glad I was Getting uh, quite disheartened a little bit, but I found my community through the nonprofit locally in the Philippines. But then the niche between data science and then social impact was not very strong here in our country. Uh, I'm glad that I got to see this movement uh, worldwide. So one of the organizations there is Analytics for a Better World. And then when I saw they're having um, uh, fellowship. I just uh, I just tried right away because it's uh, it's pretty rare, and I I'm super excited to see the amount of lens that this amount of community. So it's a group of academics and also researchers, engineers, to working together in a specific lens that we're working on for impact. So I'm I wanted to learn more about it. And the cherry on top is just learning about geospatial analytics, which is something that I want to also explore um, as an engineer. So, yep. sorry, I joined. For the fellowship, I worked on a geospatial analytics project. So I've been keen on exploring geospatial analytics because it utilizes open data. And usually, as I found through my uh, career, is that they, doing data is blocked often by the quality of data that you have. So I think the movement and the skill of geospatial kind of eases that department because it's open data and it's ready. It breaks some barriers of entry for some teams. I, and I also saw the potential of it being applied to the nonprofit that I am volunteering for, which is uh, an education platform. So we have different students nationwide. What I did for the capstone is to do a geospatial web map that shows the different touch points that we currently have in our student base already layered upon the internet access of the Philippines, since it's very, um, the digital divide is still a gap. There's still a gap in our country in terms of in infrastructure. So how I tend to apply it is that um, those spots in the Philippines that have low bandwidth in terms of their internet can be connected somehow by our nonprofit uh, proactively so that we can spread the community there and they can have their own touch point into our programs without uh, crossing much barrier in terms of 
internet access um, caused by the digital divide. So it's just, yeah, um, <laughs> the data collection was uh, uh, a bit intense. <laughs> so I think I spent 70% of the time cleaning uh, our nonprofit data. Um, so, but the output is uh, two layers of um, one is the touch points of the nonprofit that we have, and then the internet access. So, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to use that to proactively go to certain regions in the in the country. I think I value the most the frameworks that surround the data for good movement. Uh, particularly the digital principles of design, which um, I was, that was the, one of our first uh, social impact uh, courses, I guess, or classes. So when I learned that there is a framework out there, I think it was easier to cascade it to my colleagues and also see that there is, uh, there is research outside um, our current bubble in a sphere. So my background coming from tech, I I kind of know the the data science elements already. Um, and then but having a guide that bridges humanitarian or development work with how we can apply it with data uh, in a way that's not invasive and it's very co-created, it's is the biggest takeaway that I have. I think um as I said, another cherry on top would be the geospatial uh, skills that I got also from coding. Um, I think it's the frameworks that was really uh, the most valuable for me. So for Canada Career, the nonprofit that I volunteer for, I I showed them, I invited them to the capstone presentation and uh, they appreciated the project so now we're actually um, surprisingly we <laughs> my idea kind of blossomed so we're actually proactively selecting five regions in uh, the Philippines where we could practically expand to um, and it is also location based and we're using my uh, proof of concept to find those spots uh, all together and build a strategy for it, which is uh, a good twist of this year, early this year. Uh, I didn't think it would get traction because it's a proof of concept, but I think it's a it's a nice direction that I have. I Going into the project, I thought that it would happen like in two years time, but seeing it blossom right now is very fulfilling. Um, that's what I take home. And in terms of the data science principles, I try to also evangelize it in my day-to-day -day work as a solutions engineer. So we're trying to strengthen how we can help social impact organizations with my day job also. So yeah, um, I think those are what I took home, which is, yeah. Uh, my organization. It's very fulfilling um, learnings that I was able to apply. Yes, I am very eager to invite more people to join. I think it is, uh, it would require an amount of commitment. So yeah, as all fellowships and learning courses would go, there are times where you just want to like, let it go because of uh, scheduling conflicts. But I think the amount of value that we will get uh, is, is very tangible. Um, unlike what I love the most about the data science field is the amount of impact that it gets more than the fancy technologies and more than um, the breakthroughs in artificial intelligence. It is Although that is very fun, um, what really fulfills me is the impact that I got. And with the fellowship, it allowed me to have uh, a place or a space to be able to explore that faster, I would say. 
and I was not alone. So it's very, uh, since we were a cohort, I was able to get insights from my colleagues and also from the mentors that um, are all over the world. And I especially encourage people from my country, the Philippines, but also Southeast Asia. I think um, uh, if we can get more people towards this lens of data science for social good, um, a lot, a lot of principles from learnings on other countries like the global South can be also applied. So hopefully this movement will also gain traction around this area. Thank you.